Disposable vapes to be banned for children health, says the government. Absolute nonsense. And again, more indication that the UK is 100% unequivocally, hands down, the capital of the world in terms of countries when it comes to anti-fun. We fucking hate anti, we hate fun and we hate agency. Hey, adults having agency, adults being able to do what fucking adults want. Nah, we don't want that. Ban vapes because of kids. Who fucking cares about the kids, bro? If a kid's out there smoking on a vape, that kid probably has bigger issues to deal with than vapes. If there's a kid under 10 years old smoking vapes on a daily, most likely their parents aren't the greatest. Probably doesn't have beasts of a mums or beasts of a dads. The fact that they're punishing adults for the recklessness of parents not looking after their children is absolutely crazy. But again, proof, more so proof that this country is fucking anti-fun and just, you know, immune to having a good time. Immune to it. Immune to it. I fucking hate it. Let's read the article itself. Disposable vapes are to be banned in the UK as part of a plan to tackle the rising number of young people taking up vaping. Measures will also be introduced to prevent vapes being marketed to children and targeted at underage sales. Prime Minister Richie Sunak suggested adult smokers trying to quit would still have access to alternatives like vapes under the proposal. The ban is expected to be introduced across the UK. It is already illegal to sell any vapes to anyone under 18, but disposable vapes sold in a smaller, more colourful packaging than refillables are the key driver behind the alarming rise in youth crime. What, in youth vaping? <laughs> <laughs> there's an issue in you bruv <laughs> honestly there's there's not an issue with you vaping you know there is an issue here in the uk we've got the lowest number of fucking green spaces ever in recorded history across the uk that means there's not many parks and open spaces for kids to just run around touch butt f kick balls around you know f roll around in the grass and just have a good time doesn't exist also another issue in the cities no fucking um, after school programs anymore. No youth centers anymore. So if you're a kid that comes from a bit of a broken home, maybe you don't have many facilities at home, entertainment to kind of bid yourself with. Usually in most areas, especially areas I've grown up in, poor dilapidated areas like custom house and shit, bang, bang, my CH gang. You'd have these little youth centers that have like studios, they'd have like internet rooms, they'd have like libraries, they'd have like places where you can kind of just sit down like a cafe type of area or whatever. And usually kids will be in there until the time it closed. Those places will usually be open from like 3 to like 7 p.m. So basically allow you to stay there until maybe your parents got home from work and you could use the internet. You might play on the computer console. It was so fun. Across the country, youth clubs are shut which basically means all those kids who are basically on the fringes of society, kids who might come, might not come from stable homes, you're not in youth clubs anymore, guess where they're at now? Guess, bitch, you guessed it, they're out on the streets. These kids that are meant to be in youth centres are now out on the streets with nothing better to do, still have time to waste because their parents are not home, and guess what they do? Bitch, you guessed it, they get up to fucking nonsense. So this government takes away all the funding for youth centers, closes down all the free green spaces, turns all the open spaces into fucking horrible, horrible, horrible new builds and apartments that most local tenants can't even fucking afford to buy. And then in order to really change things, they decide to ban vapes. How about reopening the fucking youth centers? How about that? How about starting there instead of banning vapes? How about giving kids, how about giving the families of kids who are smoking vapes at seven more resources to fucking help them? Maybe increasing some of the money they're getting from the government. Maybe allowing them access to more after school care, whatever it may be. Maybe allowing them more access to fucking tutoring, whatever it may be, mental health, whatever. Maybe do that instead of just banning vapes and making them what? An illegal black market thing, which is going to be way more sexy anyway to do. Now, now vapes have never been cooler. Now that you're banning them, vapes are going to be even cooler than they were before because they've been banned. That's the actual dumb thing about the situation. Kids are going to be way more encouraged to do to vape because now it's illegal. <laughs> this government's fucking dumb as shit. It continues. Um, figures from the Action of Smoking on Health and Charity suggest 7.6% of 11 to 7 year teen okay that's a pretty bad statistic 
7.6% of 11 to 17 year olds now vape regularly or occasionally up from 4.1% in 2020. <laughs> Yo, there's, there's fucking 11 year olds vaping. Yo, the UK is fucked. <laughs> the UK is fucked. There's 11 year olds on the way to school vaping. This is why we could never be a country like, you know, um, Portugal that's decriminalized, you know, the possession of some class A substances. We could never be that country. Even weed. I've always said that this country could never legalize weed, you know, because we're just anti fun. But could you imagine the amount of people that we'd have ODing on weed? Because we, we'd be the people here, we just take things to the extreme. We can never do some things in moderation. I think people in the UK, we probably would be the first country in the world to record, to have record of people ODing on fucking weed. We'd have people ODing on weed in this country because they couldn't handle their drugs. We're the, we're the home of people that can't handle their drugs or can't handle their booze. I don't know why it is about what it is about us. Maybe it's our fucking Victorian ancestry, right? Edwardian ancestry. Maybe it's the remnants of King, you know, uh, Henry VIII and shit, right? That era of people. But we are unable to fucking handle our booze, handle our class A's. It's quite disturbing. Um, it says here Richie Sunak says children shouldn't be vaping we don't want them to be addicted we still don't understand the long-term health impacts UK Vape Industry Association said vapes had helped millions of adults and quit and still have cigarettes turbocharging the black market it says a risk Mr Sunak suggested the proposal struck the right balance between restricting adults for children restricting access for children and maintaining access for adult smokers trying to quit. So they're going to ban all those single-use vapes or make them less less appealing to kids. So I'm guessing they won't be color-coded anymore. They'll just be gray and black, but they'll still say mango delicious or some shit on the side, which is a nonsense. Vaping is, the same, is substantially less harmful than smoking, but it's not been around for long enough to get the long-term effects to be known. I think this is a bit of a misnomer. I think if they wanted to know if vaping was really harmful, they could find out. But I don't think they want to know. You know, that's part of the conspiracy I have. I feel like someone benefits from the sale of vapes because, you know, in every fucking off license that you go into, especially in London, every off license you go into, like a bodega, there's always somebody, there's always vapes. And they're, they're basically available from like five pounds upwards. You can get a vape and a fucking, you know, tobacco patch anywhere, tobacco pouches everywhere. So most likely somebody's benefiting from them, um, you know, financially. So the fact that they always say, oh, we don't know the long-term health benefits, like, well, there's enough time now that they can research the long-term, um, you know, kind of negatives of smoking or risk smoking a fucking vape. The fact that they don't, I think is proof that they don't want to. Vapors that are inhaled can still contain small amounts of chemicals that are found in cigarettes, including nicotine, which is addictive but not seen as a health service um, as one of the most problematic ingredients. The proposal followed last year's announcement on the ban of cigarettes to anyone born after the age of 2009. Former President Liz Truss criticized the proposed ban, describing it as profoundly pro unconstructive. I don't know, I might be in the minority, but I just think adults or even just drugs in general should be treated with a level of respect and just agency i feel like if you want to do shit if you want to get fucked up you should be able to do what the hell you want no one should tell you if you shouldn't do it or not and it should just go from there and if you end up falling on the wrong side of the tracks it is what it is if you're one of the donuts end up overdosing on a vape if you end up one if you're one of the donuts end up being in the wheelchair because you did too many balloons you were bound to be in that position anyway. You know what I mean? It's natural selection. I don't understand this idea of banning things to save people. It doesn't happen. It doesn't work that way. No one gets banned. No one gets saved because you ban something. If I want to get up to some nonsense, I'm going to get up to some nonsense. You know what I mean? Like that no, no banning is going to stop somebody from indulging in these things. I feel like if anything, there should be more education around actually doing stuff safely right um harm prevention doing drugs well like that's the one thing i don't think we've ever been taught even in school how to actually drink alcohol well how to handle your booze how to handle your liquor like how to be a good drunk how to be a good high person like you're not even taught that in schools i think they should actually teach that more so than trying to teach abstinence because come on no kid's gonna no kid is gonna abstain from sucking on a really cool looking you know um oblong shaped vape 
that's colored in lime green right no one's gonna stop not do that especially when it's five pounds and everybody's puffing on one and all your favorite tiktokers and social media influencers are fucking sucking on a vape what kid is not want, not gonna want to try it if that's the case give them some education about how to do it well is it really that hard is it really that hard to give kids information on how to do drugs well properly like i don't understand this i really don't but again it's more proof that the uk is anti-fun we don't like free agency and whenever anything gets a little bit cool a little bit fun to do the first thing they do is knock it on the head that's always the first thing they do and it absolutely pisses me off it frustrates me and um i'm shaking actually talking about this i'm absolutely shaking 